This Mother's Day, though, I have to tell you, is so special for first-time mom Rachel Chapman. I don't know if you might, you might remember this name because she made national headlines back in 2010 after a really awful accident. She was pushed into a pool during a bachelorette party by a friend. It was a playful moment, and it, it actually left her paralyzed from the chest down. Well, five years later now, uh, she is full of joy for the reason that you see here. Rachel and her husband Chris are new proud parents of little Kaylee Ray Chapman, born April 26th, and we are so excited to talk to them today, uh, joining us live via uh, Skype from Raleigh, North Carolina. So Rachel and Chris, thank you so much. Oh, and look at little Kaylee there, how she's sleeping <laughs> for you. Yeah. Yeah, she's slowly getting there. She, she's sleeping during the day and not at night. We know how that goes. How are you Pretty much, yeah, actually. <laughs> how are you adjusting to parenthood? Um, it's good. I mean, she's a really easy baby considering, you know, what I've heard about babies waking you up at all hours of the night. <laughs> but I mean, she really, she, she only wakes up like once in the middle of the night. That's about it. So she's a good baby. Now mm -hmm. help us understand here. I, I understand you decided to go with a surrogate. Yes. Um, I think it's a, I just want people to understand that it's not the paralysis that kept me from being pregnant. It was a medication that I take. And, um, so I thought that, you know, maybe one day I'll be able to get off this medicine and I'll be able to do it myself, but it's to raise my blood pressure because I have such low blood pressure, but so I, I definitely need it, but it wouldn't be healthy if I took it and I was pregnant. So we decided to go through surrogacy. It was my egg and Chris, so we, uh, it's, it's our baby. Yeah. We had an amazing surrogate. <laughs> you know, I, your story is, I think so many people are just going to be moved by it because as a quadriplegic, um, uh, people might think about what kind of limitations you have with a baby. Help us understand what you, it's like for you day to day. Well, um, another misconception is that when people hear the word quadriplegic, I think they always think of someone who's paralyzed from the neck down. Um, but in many cases, that's not the case. It's just impairment in four of your limbs. So I can move my arms fine. It's just I have limited dexterity in my fingers. So obviously that's going to make things a little more difficult for me as far as diaper changing and getting dressed. But like with everything else that I've learned to do since I got hurt, it's always frustrating at first, whether it's putting on my makeup or getting dressed, but now I've figured it all out. So it's just yeah. going to take practice with her. And you have, help us understand, you have an adapted crib. Is that why, right? What, what is the yeah, crib yeah. like? How does that work? Well, it was actually um, Laurel, my surrogate, it, it was her son's crib and she gave it to us to adapt and it's pretty much, all it is is just lifted up on stilts and I can open it yeah, at my level and have her at my level. Oh my gosh, okay, we just saw a picture of it. That is fabulous. So yeah. Chris, what is it like to watch your wife now being a mom? I know that it's early, but those are some pretty precious moments, especially knowing everything that she's been through and, and you both have been through to get to this point. Yeah, this whole journey has been amazing. And to finally see Rachel become a mother after we've talked about it so long is is unbelievable. This is a, a special, special Mother's Day for us because it's been a long time coming. Oh, well, we are wishing you just the most abundant blessings. And, you know, we see that little one as the biggest that's right there in your arms. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Best of luck to, to uh, all three of you now. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much. Happy Mother's Day.